the, it's in part, of course, in Second Samuel 7. Messiah has to be descended biologically and linearly from David. That's the whole basis of the messian messianic promise, that he has to be descendant. He has to be younger than David. David is his ancestor. and You can't be older than your own ancestor. So if he has to be descended from David, guess what? It couldn't be through his father, because Joseph was not his father. Therefore, it has to be through Mary. So Mary has to be of the tribe of Judah, and she was. And Jesus, therefore, is also the tribe of Judah with a lineal biological descendancy since Joseph was not blood-related. Now, he was legally the father, viewed as the father of Jesus, but we know God was his father by a biological miracle worked in Mary. That's why Matthew one twenty is so important because it says that what is being begotten in her, not conceived, it is a conception, but the word there is fathered. Mary's told flat out, what's being fathered in you, in, of t, in her, is from the Holy Spirit, by miracle. But God is the biological father, if you like, put it that way, really, by miracle. God is the father of Jesus, and Joseph is not. How then can he be descended from David? Only through his mother. Okay. I would add Luke 1, Anthony. Yeah. Why would the angel right. say that the son that you will mm. miraculously give birth to, not by a, a male, why would the angels call this baby uh, the son mm. of the Most High and the Lord God yeah. will give him the throne of his father? Mary has to be of the house of David. Yeah. I don't think the angel is saying that Joseph was going to father this child. No, obviously not. That would contradict the whole story. So that's great. He will be great, 32 it says. And the Lord God will give him, according to Second Samuel 7, the throne of his ancestor David. <laughs>